In this episode, I'll show you how I CNC carved this cover for my wife's painter's box. This episode is brought to you by the generous donations of my Patreon supporters. Here's her painter's box. I just needed to remove the cover so I could clamp it down on my X-Carve CNC. So I removed the three screws from each hinge at the back and the latches came with it. Then I could clamp this down. I used easel software at easel.com and imported this image, Stories Not Yet Told. This is what she wanted. I cut it at a 0.6 millimeter depth with a fill and this dashed line shows you the size of the wood. I used a 1.5 millimeter bit and I cut at a 0.3 millimeters per cut so it would cut twice. And here's the design as it's laid out and here's a simulation. It'll first cut the S, then the T, then the acorns and then it'll follow this pattern. So this looked really good so I sent it off to my X-Carve. Now while it was cutting what we didn't realize is this wood box actually was just pressed wood with a laminate on top. So really we're cutting through the laminate and then into the wood. So this was going to require some cleanup. But it did a good job and then my wife sat down with a nail file and meticulously got all the edges cleaned up, got rid of all that little straggly material and she did a great job. And once that was done I put it together and realized I cut it upside down. So I decided to just flip this guy around. So I unscrewed the latches and remove those and once I had those two off then I could flip it around and do the hinges. So I had to unscrew the hinges again just like I did before. Got those up and once I got those off and now the latches were off I unclamped it from my clamps here and turned it 180 degrees. Now I'll probably end up with a few minor holes left over that we may have to plug but I think this is going to work. Now I didn't want to drill too deep so I put a drill bit into the holes and then put a piece of tape up to where it went into the wood and then wrapped that around the drill bit and that became my guide to drill the new holes without going too deep. And then once I had those drilled I put the screws in and had this clamp so it would all stay in place and then I went to the other side and did the same thing with the same drill bit with the same guide and drilled the latches. And then screw those into place and I was a little worried if these would fit good but everything worked great. So here's the end result. I just unflip it here and now story is not yet told is on the right side. When you spin it around someone can see it and when you lock it up and stand it up it's the way she wanted it. So even when you screw up like I did sometimes you can fix it. Never give up. Anyway, if you like this project, check out some of the other ones that are popping up here in these videos. If you want to help support the channel, click on that Patreon logo. And if nothing else, click on that Chep logo and subscribe. I'll see you next time.